Hello students and welcome to another day of art. Um, we are going to be creating our own music album inspired by the music we've been learning about the past couple weeks. Last week we learned more about jazz. This week we learned more about contemporary music, more contemporary music of hip hop and rap. So I'm just showing you some examples of some professional um, music. Well, first, actually, let me show you the requirements. So to create your own album art, so you're going to basically each, you know, musical album that you create has art to it. A lot of musicians use photos, but sometimes they actually use real art for it as well. Photography is also real art, um, but I just mean art as in like paintings and drawings that they get um, printed. So you're going to choose a theme for your album. You're going to make up make a design that uses at least half of your drawing page. And so a normal large drawing page, at least half of it, you can take up the whole page as well. That's fine. Um, use three or more colors. I want you to color in neatly and fully. And then you're going to hand these in by uploading them to the Google Classroom by 4 p.m. this Friday. Okay. Our first example here, I'm showing you some actual professional um, musician artworks. And so this one you can see it's a man and then they used some flowers and bees and a beautiful sunset and mountains. And so they layered this album art. Um, I would say their theme had something to do with um, nature and then obviously they used a lot of color here. This one, their idea literally had to do with an idea or a thought in your head and that's why they used a light bulb because light bulbs can sometimes represent that you have an idea and then they use like paint splatters behind the light bulb this is a very very famous album art um, by a band called pink floyd and they used a light prism and so they made it look like there was a light streak coming through and then showed the rainbow on the other side so that's a very very famous album art and then this one was a digital drawing um, where they put a cassette tape and with a bunch of nature and color as well. So these are actual professional albums, just in as example. I don't want you copying any of these. I'm just sharing these to help give you ideas. I'm now going to show you student examples of what students have created in the past. Um, so for, the, for this one, this student's theme was primary colors. As you can see, the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And then they added some orange, which is a secondary color. But their main colors were the primaries. And then they also wanted to focus on classical music because this um, student played piano. So they did a very classical grand piano. For this student's work, their theme was a bit more simple. It was just nature. But even though their theme was simple, they made a very complex design with all different aspects of nature, using a ton of color, super beautiful. In this one, this student just used, um, well, they used the name of an actual band, but then they came up with their own theme for Dark Horse, and they used this metallic emblem in the back and then drew a dark horse here. And then they used the font for graffiti, because they liked graffiti art. And even though it's the name of a real band, they wanted it to be more of a hip hop album. And so that's why they used graffiti art for the font in that. Um, here's a couple more student examples. This one, a student drew, and this is a high school student, so don't worry, y'all, if um, you don't have time to like create really high end levels. This student had a lot of time and has been drawing for a long time, but they drew a self portrait of themselves, so that was their theme, was a self portrait. And then they drew geometric shapes and colors around, including in their sunglasses. Um, for this one, the name, the theme of the album was also the name of the album, Coffee and Rainy days and so they made a digital drawing of a hand holding a coffee cup and then in this one the students theme was melting and so they took they, they drew a picture of them lying on the grass like it's a hot summer day lying on the grass and then melting like colorful crayons so I thought that was pretty creative now yours don't need to be like that abstract of thought they could be more simple like the nature or primary colors and classical music um, but those are just to give you ideas of what you can do um, you can do whatever you want as long as it's school appropriate I want you guys to use a lot of your own creativity and own ideas in this and so that's why I'm not sharing with you any um, like actual examples of what to draw because I want you to come up with your own things. I'm just sharing with you what other students have done. And then again, these are the requirements. So always come back to these requirements for choosing your theme, just like I shared the themes and these, and I've written them here. So even after this video, you can come back and get examples. 
You're going to make a design that uses up either your full page or at least half of it using three or more colors, color very neatly and fully, and then um, hand it to Google Classroom. I'm going to write one more option here um, because I want you to know for number six, it can be drawn on physical paper or drawn digitally, okay? So you have both those option, options. You can decide if you want to draw it on actual paper or digital, and that's why I've shared examples of both in here, okay, y'all? All right, y'all, I can't wait to see what you come up with, and I'll see your artwork soon.